The best way to tell if you have a good VTuber concept is to see if it passes the main character test. Because, let's be honest, nobody wants to be an NPC in their own streams as VTuber. What do you oh, mean? Pantone is not the main character! I'm not an NPC. <sighs> Anyways, take a look at any anime series and you will know if you have a good character concept when you can immediately tell who's the main character. I think it's kind of crazy to think that Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh! would actually make a great VTuber concept. If you can't pass the main character test, then it's most likely because you lacked clarity in your design. And when I say clarity, I am specifically referring to the color palette, silhouette, and exaggeration on your VTuber model. The fastest way to figure out if your character concept actually has clarity clarity or not is by doing the silhouette test. I'm sure you've seen many VTubers do this on social media when they do a big model reveal. They have a whole silhouette test and they usually gatekeep it by likes or tweets, which I've come to realize is a very weird marketing strap, but it can sometimes work. But yes, the silhouette test is a very common thing for VTubers to tell if you have clarity in your design or not. When you look at your model silhouette, what sticks out to you the most? Are you noticing too many elements blending in or is it starting to look like a blob? I notice that a lot of long hair VTubers struggle with this most of the time. But the good news is you don't have to choose between having beautifully long hair and a strong character design because all you have to do is make some minor adjustments to exaggerate key features in your concept. Let's take a look at Shia Lily's model for example. When she debuted her new model, I'm gonna be honest, I was a little nervous because I thought she was going to fall into the long hair trap. But when you look at the silhouette, it actually has enough detail to stand out and makes its own unique shape. <laughs> Not gonna lie, she kind of reminds me of a Christmas tree with the tail. In, in like a good way, in, in, in like a good way, please Shelly, don't cancel me. Once you pass the silhouette test, you should also cast a grayscale on your character to see what parts of your model stand out and contrast each other. This is how you can tell if you have a good color palette because you would be surprised how subtle hue shifts and adjustments can really make or break the contrast in your model and can make it go from an eyesore to a high score. Dun. I've done all these tests with my VTuber design and I came to realize that this version of my model is, well, a lot weaker than my darker version because of the contrasting colors. Typically, you'd want to keep your color palette around three primary colors and two secondary colors. There are some instances where you can bend the rules a little bit if it still has clarity and I think the reason why this model struggled is because, well, there isn't a lot of contrast and my silhouette is treading that blob territory that I mentioned earlier the video. Now compare that to this one where the silhouette is really well defined and the dark hair and bright pink eyes show a lot of contrast on a grayscale. I think for VTubers in particular, it's really important to have contrast between your hair and eyes. Because even if you have pink hair and pink eyes, you can still make it have a good contrast in each of those elements because something that a lot of people don't think about is that for VTubers, you're mostly going to see the upper body most of the time on stream, which means showing off your key features and making really careful decisions on your eyes is what's going to be the difference from someone scrolling past your YouTube short or stopping to take a look at what this random anime girl is saying on your phone right now. But none of this is going to matter if you don't have a hook for your VTuber concept, which is kind of weird to think about because how can you create a visual hook that's either emotional, gimmicky, or reflects your model's personality? Well, remember how I said earlier how you can exaggerate elements on your VTuber concept by making really small adjustments? Well, let's take a look at me, for example, once again, because this is my video. So obviously I'm going to use me as an example because I'm not an NPC. Anyways, I'm a cat girl, but I'm very messy and clumsy. So the way I express that in my model without, you know, just saying it is by having strands stick out of my like ears and my tail. So I look a little fluffed out, but not too, too much where it just looks like I'm super, super messy. Just a little bit messy. Matarakan from Vishojo is another great example at exaggerating key elements in her design and she also has long hair too but it still doesn't compromise the design it actually blends really well with it because her silhouette looks like a bug man i really hate bugs but gotta give her credit on pulling the style off and she's almost got like a monochromatic color palette going on too which is really hard to pull off well you know who else makes really great character designs this video's sponsor if i had one but i don't so instead enjoy some gamer 
Gamersups by using my code Mari for 10% off because Gamersups actually does an amazing job at showing off good character design, which you can clearly see when you fill up the cup with any Gamersups flavor of your choice. And starting Thursday, April 25th at 3 p.m. EST, all the way until Thursday, May 2nd at 3 p.m. EST, you can get free shipping with my code Mari on all orders over $39.69 USD. So if there's anyone who's an international member out here, then this is something that you definitely don't want to miss out on. I can't wait to see how her silhouette looks when I fill her up later. But anyways, as you can see, you can't have just one of these three things in order to pass the main character test. You need all three of these things to balance out your concept, otherwise you might get labeled as an NPC like what my chat did. Unless if your actual concept is to be an NPC like what everyone else did last year on TikTok's live stream. These might feel like minor adjustments, but it's honestly these small details that all work together to create the overall picture. It's kind of similar to how peacocks find a mate. Like male peacocks attract females based off of their colorful train or tail. And the female peacocks decide what's attracted. And it's usually because of the quality of their trains. And that whole sentiment is kind of how VTubing works for character designs. Because even though we might find both these peacocks really pretty from afar, only one of them is going to succeed in finding a partner because it's up to the female to decide what they consider is attractive. And usually it all comes down to the quality of their trains, which is very similar to the details of your VTuber avatar, because it all boils down to all the small details that compile the entire image. Of course, stylized artwork can bring out personality in your character, but did you know something as simple as your shading technique can be a hook point for your character concept? Having a simplistic shading style can give your VTuber avatar this anime vibe to it, compared to a highly rendered and shaded model, which would give it more of like a video game vibe. But if you're like me and you really struggle coming up with a character design for your VTuber model, then you can hire a character concept artist to help you. Iris has been working with me endlessly on my character concept because I want to go through a whole rebrand with my VTuber persona. And since I have ADHD, I had to come to the realization that my executive dysfunction makes it difficult for me to conceptualize what I want. And having a professional who has a lot of experience with character designs has really offloaded the pressure on me. And now I can focus on other things like getting my community excited and planning my re-debut. Also, a little bonus about character design is that I've seen a lot of people talk about simplicity versus complexity on which makes a better character design. And the truth is that both of them do. It just really depends on how you have all the elements combined together. The most important thing that you need to have is an overall consistent theme. Basically having about two to three defining design details that most people can closely identify you with. Take a look at Nankan Alice, who is an indie VTuber that's been blowing up recently because she has a very unique VTuber concept. And take a look at her character sheet. You can tell right away that a common theme is time. So she has clocks. She has a various amount of different clock motifs around her and ribbons, which is like a super girly and easily defined shape throughout her entire character design. She's also very consistent with her color palette, even even though she has five colors, she uses them all really well. And I think this is important because a lot of VTubers tend to get this stuff a little confused when it comes to consistent theme. You don't need to have way too many elements on there because in, and then it can kind of confuse the viewer on what you're supposed to be and sometimes less is more. But you don't want it to be too boring where you, again, look like an NPC. And that usually happens when there's not enough defining elements in your design or if the defining elements that you have don't really tell the viewer a lot about you or your personality. I just wanted to quickly talk about this and share some of my experiences and what I had learned because trying to design my own VTuber concept has been very difficult. And after many failed concept attempts, I've kind of realized that I definitely needed help with my character concept. And after four years of doing this, I decided it's finally time to hire a professional who actually knows what the hell they're doing. What are some things that you're struggling with for VTuber character design? Ask me in my comment section down below and I'll try to make some YouTube shorts answering your questions. Or if I see a lot of different topics being brought up, then maybe I'll host an interview on my virtual life with the professional concept artist and share some of their techniques with you in another video. Thanks for watching and remember, everything reminds you of something. Bye! Did you, did you miss that? Did you miss me saying that? I haven't said it in the past couple of videos and I swear if you didn't notice it, I'm going to.